Hello guys, Samarth on this side, back again with new tutorial video. In this video, we are going to deal with camera and images of our mobile device from our Flutter app. So, let's start the video. So guys, in the last video, we make that application where we see about the operation with URL and web view and we see about uh, loading the websites in the web view and opening the URL in the browser from our Flutter app. So in this video, we don't need it. Just want to deal with camera and gallery of our mobile device. So what I can do, I can remove that old code as well. So guys, I remove the unnecessary code that will not be used here in our project. What we have to do, so deal with camera and images of our mobile device. We have to install a package from the pub.dev. So switch to the pub.dev and the pa package name is the image speaker. So you have to install that package. So that package is a lifesaver for camera and uh, gallery images so you have to you need to install this so what you have to do you have to go to the pubspec.yml and under that pubspec.yml what you have to do under that dependencies you have to paste that package and as you know from the terminal we have to run flutter pubgate in the meantime what we can do if you come here in the readme section they are telling that in that uh, android we have to use that android request legacy external storage and we have to add this in the application tab of android manifest.xml so what we can do here in the android app source main android mani uh, manifest.xml what we have to do we have to come uh, here under that application tab and here we have to paste it here and for the ios what we have to do we have to go to the info.placed file so what we have to do here we can fold it here and in that ios folder under that runner we have to go to the info.placed and here <coughs> we have to add that key with the description as well okay so we just copy that permission name and under that info.placed file what we have to do we have to make a key here and we also in that key as well as we have to make a string and we have to close the string as well <coughs> now we have to do it three times because three permission we need to add so that's the three times we make this the first permission we add under that key so that and here we have to give why that permission is required so as it suggests describe why your app needs permission of that photo library so I give I give here the dummy description why that permission is needed. But when you when we work in the production, we give the specific reason why we, why we give that permission. Okay, so let's go with that dummy one. Here we have to provide NS camera users description, and here we have to provide why your app need the access of camera. Here I write to learn about the camera feature. We don't need the access of the microphone, so we can remove that because the microphone access is as of now not needed uh, in this video okay so here in that android uh, except that there is no configuration as of required because the plugin should work out of box okay so let's uh, install that package as it already installed so we can run our code as well okay we have to run flutter run commands so that we can run the project in our device so let's run the project so guys our app is started and in the main screen as we remove all of the previous code so just width and height of the container is showing so that's why nothing is showing here as of now i just decrease the size of the terminal so that we can work easily now what we have to do here uh, in the under the scaffold we have to make a floating action button and here uh, i give a method name and we should make that method at the bottom so under that class so here what we have to do we have to write here padding we want to make two floating action buttons so what we have to do we have to uh, make it under a column so just we have to give a particular padding so that it will be so from a significant place from all of the sides so i give here padding so it inserts uh, dot symmetry horizontally that will be 10 and vertically that will be 15 as of now and here we have to make a child now in that child what we have to do we have to provide a column and here in that column what we have to do we have to give a uh, main axis alignment and main axis alignment one second main axis alignment dot in because that will be so at the end of the screen just like for that column that will be so at the bottom of the screen so that it will be looking good okay now what we have to do uh, 
here we have to make the children and we have to now make two floating action button in under that column so that it will be showing uh, progressively here so what i have to do we have to write floating action button and here under that child we have to write uh, icon and i provide the icon for the camera okay so icons dot camera so there is many more icon is present so i prefer camera alt outlined and i give the color as colors dot white and i want to some beautify it so i make it constant as of now make the child in the next line and giving that icon size about 25 okay now one more important thing is that we have to provide a background color so that it will be looking good and i give light blue accent so that it will be looking good okay now we have to make another floating action button so that will be used for uh, taking picture from the gallery so you have to give the gallery icon okay so that image icon will be so there now one more thing when you declaring more than one floating action button in a uh, same screen or in a same widget tree what you have to do you have to provide a hero tag so that hero tag actually act as a unique uh, id for every of the floating action button and uh, that will not give you error in most of the time but sometimes that it will uh, it will be give error if you not provide the hero tag so make sure when you provide uh, floating action button in a widget tree more than once you have to provide a unique hero tag for every floating action button okay now what we have to do if we make a hot reload here let's see how it's look it is uh, the camera and the uh, image button is showing so the color is not very much good enough now what we have to do we have to make a significant space between two floating action buttons so that it will be looking good so i make a size box of height 10 so that it will be giving significant space between two floating action button make a hot reload the color of that background is not very much good enough so i write here uh, orange and here i write about if i make a hot reload here as you can see two icon is showing instead of it is bothering about the pace you can give the pace of 20 between two floating action button now what happened what our agenda is when we click on that button okay that camera button uh, i make that boat icon size at 30 so that it will be looking good because it is showing teeny i know in that video it is showing teeny so here when we click on that camera button the camera of the device will be getting open then we will take a photo from the camera and that photo will be so here in that container so let's make the code for it then we will open the camera okay so what we have to do that uh, when we take the picture from the camera the path of that picture will be returned from the package okay so we have to store that path of the images that we just taken from the camera so and that's also same for the gallery as well for the gallery the path of where the picture exists that will be written for the camera when we take the camera picture from the camera there is a temporary path will be created and that path will be written by the package so what we have to do here we have to write string and the image path okay so that's uh, by default i state as empty now what we have to do in that container <coughs> in the child if image path is empty then we have to uh, we have to print at the center of the screen that no image found okay and give a decent style so that it will be looking good so stick style of font size of 35 font weight of bold and if the image uh, path is present okay so so one more thing here when i uh, show you some kind of images just like asset image and network image in one of the previous video of that series i told you that there is a special image that is called the file image that also present in the flutter we will see that when we deal with camera and gallery so in this video we are going to see that uh now in this video the use of file image is that when we take any picture from the camera or take any picture from the gallery that is actually called the file image just like when you take the picture from the internet it is called the network image so in the same way uh when we take the picture from our mobile device uh that is called actually the file image okay so how can we define that file image 
there is uh, many ways to define that file image but i show you from that container itself because container actually taking whole of the screen so that it will be looking good so instead of that making it child as of now what i can do here uh, in, here i make the decoration of it so i make the deco box decoration that the condition i remove from here and in the center of the screen i not make want to make it constant if the image path is empty that will be so no image found and that image path if not empty so the path will be clear okay <coughs> so that will be so a uh, empty string but the textile will be constant because all have in the hard coded value so in that box decoration what we have to do we have to write image and here we have to write uh, decoration image here in that image what we have to do we have to write a uh, file image okay here we have to uh, write file and one more important thing is that there is a conflict happening because file can be input from different package as well so what we have to do we have to import dot uh, io package okay so from dot io package we will uh, import the file class okay uh, what we have to do here so in that file image we have to write file so that file actually coming from dot io package now what we have to do under that file uh, we have to provide the image path okay so now one more catch is here so decoration by default is null when we don't provide any decoration it will be the by default null so what we have to do we have to check if image path is empty then you should provide here null else that box decoration and we want to fit the image to the whole screen so here i write box fit dot cover okay so for uh, our port is ready to show the image but one more thing is left the functionality to take the image from camera so what we have to do from that uh, floating action button of this camera where having the hero tag one we have to first input that package here so here what we have to do we have to import image picker image picker dot dot so that image picker package we just install in the prospect.yml so we have to import that package in the main screen and here what we have to do we have to write here of that floating action button uh, image picker dot peak image and we have to provide the source so what would be the source uh, source pin from where you want to take the image up. so in that case we want to take the image from the camera so we have to write image source dot camera okay now we that the peak image method if you hover it that will be future of it so we make it asynchronous as well and that uh, will be written a uh, picked file so that will be type of x file i will show you so here you can see that will be size of x file that will be nullable so here we have to check if picked file is null that means no image path is come back after picking up image from the camera so if we come at line number 73 that means that peak image having a valid path so that we can show that image so what we have to do as you can see that path uh, that file type is x file but we have to convert it to that file to that file that is uh, imported from that dot io package okay so what we have to do we have to write here image path that the variable name we declare here so here what path we should include we have to first write here file and here we have to write picked file dot path okay we have to provide picked file dot path and we have to wrap it with that file and we have to provide that file path so using the dot path okay after that we can make say state so that the widget will be updated in the stateful widget okay now make a hot reload and let's try if it is working or not now what we have to do if we click on that plus now the front camera and that's me i think it's looking good and if i take the picture of it so i take the picture of it and if i click on the ok 
now you can see that picture is showing at uh, in the whole screen and it's covering in the whole screen and i think i am looking good here so the picture is showing good here now is the time to pick the image from the gallery to show here in that full screen coverage so how can we do that <coughs> so here what we have to do we can uh, do one thing we can copy the code from here because the one thing one that will be changed and yeah you picked it right that will be changed here image source dot gallery and that's it that's the difference between picking image from camera and gallery okay now i also make this asynchronous for the same reason and if i make a hot reload here and now if i click on that uh, gallery icon the gallery is open and then i can choose a picture so i choose the third picture here and as you can see that picture we get from the gallery and it is covering the whole screen okay so in that way we can take the image from the camera and gallery so that's all for today hope you love this video if you love this video don't forget to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe this channel the next video of the series is coming very soon have a nice day bye